Hey everyone, uh, this is CGIO here. Um, so today I'm going to be making a, a, a bit of controversial video. I'm going to be talking about Circle K Vietnam, uh, my personal experience. So I want to talk about the um, root service uh, by uh, these uh, girls who work at Circle K Vietnam, uh, especially here in Hanoi. Um, so I've been staying here in Hanoi for two months now, and I've been living in Saigon for four years. Honestly speaking, um, I don't have a good perception about uh, how I get treated um, by these girls uh, working at Circle K. So, um, so let me just talk about Circle K Hanoi over here. Uh, you know, especially downtown city. Um, so like yesterday, I um, uh, I saw one expat. Uh, I think he was from Europe or something. So he bought a lot of stuff. And, um, you know, like what really bothered me is that these girls who work at Circle K uh, here in Hanoi, uh, they're so fucking rude in, uh, in, in, in talking with foreigners, you know, like, you know, so it's like they say, like you know, they they tell they tell you how much is the uh, they tell you how much is the price, you know, like uh, like seventy one thousand, ninety one thousand, and they talk so fucking rudely. Uh, you really don't feel welcome. Uh, there have been instances. So, like I'm a person of color. I'm a brown skinned foreigner. Uh, I'm from India. Uh, and I'm pretty well traveled. I've been to U.S. and uh, been to Australia. And I'm very. Uh, I've lived in Europe for ten years. Uh, but honestly speaking, the Circle K Vietnam customer service experience really sucks. Um, the girls—they're not trained properly. They're very rude. Uh, they show th this fucking attitude, as if you know, like we're like fucking dogs or something. Um, they 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 don't know how to talk properly. They're not friendly. They're not polite especially here at Circle K here uh, in Hanoi. So today, like, I I purchased around 70,000 worth of uh, of items which I bought on Circle K, bought in the Circle K store. Um, and the girl, she was, like, so fucking rude, you know, she was, like, 71,000. You know, why do you talk so fucking rude? I mean, what's wrong with the um, hiring process over here at Circle K Vietnam? I mean, why aren't you training these girls to talk politely with all foreigners? I don't care if the foreigner is white, black, brown, yellow. We are all foreigners. We are all expats here in, in Vietnam. And no wonder there has been a decline in tourism here in Vietnam because, you know, apart from the visa situation, I say that I, I strongly believe the customer service here in Vietnam really sucks. So, you know, seriously, Circle K Vietnam really needs to step up their customer service. Either you fire these girls or you train them properly how to deal with foreign expats. I don't care uh, what skin color they have or where they come from. But they're like so fucking rude and sometimes they're so racist. Um, you know, sometimes it's happened like they welcome all Vietnamese coming inside the store. Xin Chao, Xin Chao. And when they look at a person of color... Like maybe if the foreigner is a brown-skinned person or a black-skinned person, uh, they will not say Sin Chao uh, when I enter the store, okay? So that's racism, you know? I mean, whoever, whoever is in charge of the operational management at Circle K Vietnam or in Hanoi, the hiring, uh, the hiring team, uh, shame on you guys. You guys are not doing a good job. And that's the reason why we have to go to Facebook and write shitty reviews about our bad experience with Circle K Hanoi. And it, it doesn't, it's not very good for your company, honestly speaking. It's an American brand. You're fucking it up. And uh, that's not the way to go about it. So stop all this bullshit. Uh, when you're hiring these girls, you know, they should be politely telling, you know, it's 71,000, 91, at least be a bit friendly, you know. Fuck, they're so fucking rude, you know, these girls, like, you know, uh, 80,000, 90,000, 70, and they talk so fucking rudely as if you shouldn't be shopping over there. So, honestly speaking, um, the my personal experience with Circle K uh, Vietnam, especially in Hanoi, um, is just horrible, you know, I mean, absolutely rude service. Um, I just wonder how come you're, how come you're hiring these people? 
So either you train them or fire them. And seriously, you got to take some effective action because it's not good for your company image um, here in Vietnam. So there you go. I, I, I told you about my personal experience. And I hope that, uh, you know, the upper management team here in Vietnam takes strong, effective, immediate action and, you know, rehire, retrain these people or just fire out these rude people, you know. So um, that's all I got to say, um, you know, um, peace out.